NFTs have been the craze in 2021 and it seems as if there are so many projects out there that we just can't get involved in because it's too overpriced and we're not able to even get started because we have no real idea of what we're getting into. Today I'm going to show you how I've made just over $10,000 so far on one single app collecting and trading NFTs. So let's get into it. Welcome on everyone, my name is Andy and I appreciate you taking some time to come and watch this video on the channel. This is my first ever video on this channel and I do have another one related to more personal development stuff and trying to push you forward to become the best version of yourself. But I've been so interested in NFTs and the crypto space that I wanted to share some of the things that I've experienced so far. Potentially help you get involved if that's something that you're interested in. But for me, a couple months back, I had no idea what NFTs were. I didn't have the knowledge that I do now and it's something that you can pick up pretty quickly so if you are someone who's watching this video for the first time and they're thinking how the hell is this even possible to do don't worry too much because I was completely clueless a few months ago it's only going to take a few videos to watch and learn and understand it a little bit and you'll be flying in no time. Now, the app that I'm going to be talking about today is called Vivi and it is an NFT digital collectible app that is got a lot of licenses from most of the top brands in the world. You've got things like Marvel, which is Spider-Man coming out on Saturday, so this would be a great time to get involved. You've also got DC Comics, Cartoon Network, and so many others. They've got 100 licenses already in partnership with them, and I believe there's going to be tons more in the future. This is the place for NFTs, and especially the premium versions. Everyone can sell anything they want, but these are the real deal. Batman series have been out so far. I I'm a massive Batman fan and I've been able to collect things that I never thought possible. So actually one of my really close friends, Niall, who had told me about Vivi a couple months back and after doing some research, I really, really wanted to get into it. At this point, I may as well invest a little bit of money. It doesn't have to be much and I don't have a lot of money, but I may as well put some in because I think it's quite cool that you can get these NFTs and you can just buy them. Now, the way that Vivi works right now is a sort of drop system on certain days and certain times throughout the week. So for instance, the Spider-Man drop is coming at 8 a.m. PST on the Saturday the 7th of August. And therefore, when that happens, you're going to be able to purchase a Spider-Man or the Spider-Man collectibles with whichever you choose at that time. And if you're not able to get in, then you can buy it on the secondary market once it opens up after the drop has closed. When I'd first got in, it was Ultraman, which is not as popular in English speaking countries. It's more so in Asia where this has got this popular but this was the first drop that I wanted to test and I actually managed to get something. So when I purchased it and was able to sell it on the market for I think double the price at the time, I started to get a little bit hooked. If you're someone like me, I'm not really into the collectibles of having 10 stories of the Funko Pops or all that sort of stuff in my room. I would much rather be minimalistic in that sense and NFTs were the road to that. Each week new drops came out and have been coming out consistently for a long time. I mean with over a hundred brands signed there's no wonder they've got so much to actually work with and Marvel being announced a couple months back with their first coming now I could not recommend a better time to get in here to earn some more money to collect the things you've loved collecting and just also understand the NFT and crypto space a little bit more. There was two main things I had done and have done to make money on the app and one of the things that's going to be screaming out at me and I know that some people who are already involved in the app is going to be telling me is that right now you can't take your money out of the app. You cannot transfer the gems that you purchase in the app out to fiat and I understand and I know people are going to be really frustrated at that but they already have their MTL which is a money transmitter license allowing you to actually take your money out. So that is coming I believe this year sometime later on in the year please don't make that a make or break in this whole thing. With the research I've done and the research I continue to do, I believe anyway that this is going to be something that's massive in the future. And if they're able to hold these brands for a long period of time, these could be the start of the collectibles that you weren't able to get involved in when you were younger. Collecting the Pokemon cards and the Yu-Gi-Oh cards for the first ever mints ever. We have that on the app. Superman, Batman, Joker, Harley Quinn, him from Powerpuff Girls. They're so many first time and first appearance collectibles on this app that are going to go down in history and I know that might put you a little bit off not being able to take out right away 
I just think this is something that you cannot miss out on. The drop system was where I earned money if I wanted to flip some of the cards, and the other way is through the secondary market. Now, I am someone who's came from a background of playing FIFA all my life, and you'll know that the marketplace there is somewhere where you can buy, sell, and trade your stuff. And this secondary marketplace reminded me exactly of that. So I got really excited when I had the opportunity to buy things that I thought were a good deal and then sell or flip a little bit later on or keep if I thought I really wanted to keep them for the long run. My goal was to have enough gems with every single drop to come out to actually get involved in the drop because sometimes drops can allow you to earn two and up to 10x of what you've actually paid. Recently, I got very fortunate with a drop that came out as a secret rare called Lucky and it was by Jermaine Rogers during Comic-Con. I purchased that for 90 gems, which is equivalent to $1 in USD, so it was $90, and I managed to sell it for 1,800 gems just a day later. Some of you who are already involved in Vivi will maybe think that's a mistake, but for me, going from 335 gems to just over 10,000 is something I never thought actually possible. The great thing is Vivi have been working continuously to make the drops more fair and to remove bots from their systems. So now with randomized mint numbers, you could potentially get a really, really good quality NFT by just participating in the drops. These are things where you can double, triple, quadruple, and even more of your money just from one drop and just from being present when the drops actually happen. In the future, I'm going to talk more about how you can get involved in the drops and some of the techniques that have been shown on YouTube and some of the things that I use to get more involved in this. As of right now, we're talking more so on how I went from that stage. The main thing for me was trading because I really, really enjoyed it. And on the screen right now, you'll see some of the trades that I've actually been making throughout the time of being on the app. I'm an avid lover of trading, not going to lie. I really enjoy the process of buying and selling selling, seeing what's worth the money, and really trying to make a profit just through knowledge alone. Rather than always just taking the risk of getting the drop, I am in more control of what I buy and sell. And as more people are going to get on the platform, I know more things will sell more quickly. Right now, it does take a little bit of time depending on what you get to sell some things because each collectible is very niche and some people need to be looking for those specific things. And often what happens as well is when the drops get announced, if it's a great drop like this week, the market prices often go down because people want to sell off to make sure they have gems for the drop. The drops in the secondary market are the two ways that you can really earn money on this app. I really don't want you to be disheartened that you're not able to take your gems off just now. You can go through some services that allow you to earn fiat right away and it is a little bit of a discounted price. There are some legit services out there that you can go for if that's something you really want to do. For me, I'm not bothered at this time because I truly believe in the product, I believe in the team and this is the first time I've ever actually been involved in a company company where I know everyone who's actually working behind the scenes. I know the team, I know the marketing team, you know the social media manager, you know the designers, and you get to ask them questions and they can respond to you. In their weekly AMAs, you get to see some of the stuff they post on Twitter and interact with them, and the community is absolutely thriving and why I wanted to get involved as soon as I could. I now hold I believe around 30 collectibles at the moment, ranging from Batman to Ghostbusters and all of the other stuff. Batman is something I love. The Black and White series that have been coming out, I am addicted to buying them. I really want to get all of them or as much as I can, but there's a lot of potential here. I'm not this genius who has been in the NFT business for a while and saw it coming. I just got in a few months ago. Started with Vivi and now I'm actually on to Axie Infinity, which I'm going to be talking about in future videos and how my first weeks went after investing. On the screen right now, you're actually able to see some of the trades that I've made. I keep a sort of spreadsheet over them. I don't know if that's sad or not, but I really enjoy this part of it. When I got the Pride Givenchy Beauty, I managed to pick that up for 215 on the marketplace after the drop had finished and sold it for 895 And it's actually going for 1.3 at the moment, maybe more than that now. So if you held it for longer, it could even do that. And even things like Death, I managed to pick up on the drop day and sold it for $312 with a $222 profit. There's a lot of things here that you can make money off of. And if you're smart and if you understand just the simple concept of what VV is and what they're actually trying to do, you could get in from the ground floor and really start moving up. Currently, they're in season two and we're not far in at all. We've announced the MTL coming, there's a new exchange just been announced, and Marvel is having their first ever licensed digital collectible on Vivi. This thing is making moves in the world, and I am so happy to be a part of it so early on. For me personally, I believe that 
this is a chance for people to become owners of the first ever digital collectibles for the biggest brands in the world. Batman and Superman and all that sort of stuff aren't going away anytime soon. They are going to be things to last and having the first ever digital collectible is actually Todd McFarlane's Batman which you can see on the screen right now. I own two currently which I'm extremely excited about. They could be worth incredible amounts in the future. You can see here some of the prices that the best cards and the best comic books go for that were minted and they're still in great condition. NFTs don't lose their quality because they are NFTs and they're also only a certain amount minted. That is something that you could set up for your future by just putting a small investment in now. I, I want to reiterate that this is not financial advice. I'm just speaking on my experience so far and sharing my knowledge with what I've done so far in this project. On this channel, I'm gonna be dedicating more time to try and talk about my investments and what I'm making, some of the risks I've taken, some of the things I'm doing with the trades on Vivi, talking more about that as well as Axie Infinity or any other games that I do get involved in with the sort of play to earn system. That's something that I'm really excited about at the moment and something I've been getting really interested in. That's something that you enjoy and you want to see more on the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments what you would actually like to see from a channel like this I'm just starting out in this journey but i'm really excited to get to know all of you have a fantastic day